What up, Cancer? This is Soul here. And Cancer, we're going to look at some energies here starting uh, April. I'm sorry, starting March 27th and ending April 2nd. Got ahead of, you know, myself a little bit. Anyway, Cancer, I hope all is well. This week, Cancer, I'm using the Guardian um, of the Night Tarot. I've used this deck once before as more animal based, but I'm not reading any uh, reversals. Um, very colorful deck here. So let's see what's coming up here for us this week, Cancer. I hope you guys had a fantastic week last week. I know I did. I just had a busy week. A lot of stuff going on um, that I had to take care of. But, uh, you know, I'm here. I survived it. So it's no big deal. And I think we received the tower. Didn't we uh, receive the tower? Did I have a tower moment? I did have a tower moment. It was the tooth extraction. <laughs> It wasn't so much the two billion pulled, it was that damn bill that I had to pay afterwards. That's what hurt. I was devastated. Anyway, so good enough shuffle. We're going to start Cancer. So Four Swords opens our energy up. And this is simply, hey, Cancer, take a break. This is rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. Some of us need that. I know I do. Some of us may be planning to um, go somewhere in the future, future trips, usually. Reclaiming your independence and your uh, happiness with the Four of Swords. Always remember to detach cancer from your job, from your relationships, from your, you know, um, well, relationships fall under platonic and romantic, and just do something for yourself. Return to your own happiness. Don't allow other people or entities to make you happy. We're responsible for our own happiness, Cancer. No one else but us, okay? And I think that, you know, when people get to understand that and come to that realization, their life, not everybody's life is going to be so much better, but I know it works for me. You know, I can't hold people responsible for what's going on with me and my own happiness. I have to create that for myself, okay? Uh, four of Swords here, uh, Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is the card of abundance, so this is inheritance. This is... Um, um, <coughs> excuse me, this, excuse me, this is inheritance, abundance, uh, it could be for those cancers who like to take, uh, risk when they gamble, um, big money hits, so it could be casinos, it could be lottery, just play responsibly, I don't know what the hell I got choked up over, <laughs> but anyway, it is the absence of, uh, money. Because this could be, you know, for some cancers, large uh, pay raises. It could be promotions. Definitely. Even num number of pentacles. So it could be those cancers who are just taking care of themselves, who are single, taking care of all your needs and your want, but you're not coming across in doing so and being selfish or stingy. Um, for those who are already in partnerships, you're equally sharing, taking care of each other. Okay? Nurturing each other, caring for each other, supporting each other. Ten of Pentacles, wow. Up next is the Ten of Wands. Two tens in a reading is very auspicious. They follow one another. For some of us, this means that we're going to be uh, finding ourselves extremely busy next week and doing things. Doing things for ourselves, doing things for our family. Now, it could be work-related, even though the Four of Swords opens us up and I said that we need to slow down and take a break. But some of you need um, to do that, but others don't. Okay, so the Ten of Wands is just coming here just to let you know that whatever you got going on, whether it's on your plate or um, something that crops up along the way, you're going to be having the energy to take care of that. All right. Following that, we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is following the Ten of Wands. Usually I read this as, uh, and I've been reading the Five of Swords lately, Cancer, as we have to watch out and be careful that there are people who are uh, envious of us. Now, there's a difference between envious and and jealousy, okay? Envious, I'm not going to get into explaining. You know the difference. Uh, this could be family member. This could be romantic partners. This could be friends, okay? Whatever it is that you have, cancer, possibility that you have, others want, okay? And they, they are envious of you because you have it. Now, could I stretch it and say that there could be, you know, people who have good envy? I don't think so. You know, you might have something that, you know, somebody was like, oh, I wish I had that. But they don't really mean you no harm or anything like that. That's what I, I mean to say, okay? And not that the other ones mean you any harm, but, you know, it's much more different than jealousy, okay? Jealousy, you can get into a lot of other crazy shit with jealousy. So, 
<clears throat> anyway, you may have to figure out something this week. If it does express itself at all, it's just the five and it's temporary, right? So having to um, deal with some inner conflicts or sort something out. And then if you're dealing with any external conflicts, you know, involving other people, uh, you'll figure that out as well, okay? Up next, we have the uh, Fool, Major Arcana, so New Beginnings. All right, so take that leap of faith, Cancer, whatever it is that you got going on. Now, some of you may be trying to take the lead and starting some sort of new beginning for yourself. Or, you know, like I always say, there's two uh, facets to this Fool card. You can either do that and um, meet the universe halfway, or you can just do nothing. And something is about to open up for you in a new beginning or a new way for you anyway. So you don't really, really you, you know, you really don't have to do anything. But I think it's more encouraging to, you know, if you already know what you want to do and begin something new, then, you know, put it in place. Just, you know, take that leap of faith and leave the fear behind you and the universe is going to meet you. Definitely. It may give you the jump start. So that's the full Major Arcana. Up next is the King of Swords. So we're going to be doing something very major uh, in terms of decisions or actions this week. It sits underneath the Four of Swords. That might have something to do with it. I always talk about the King of Swords, Queen of Swords coming across in terms of decision making and uh, action is cold and calculating. But keep in mind, Cancer, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything related to negativity. It could be something that you're doing very positive, right? But it's something that you have to do, something that you have to carry out. Um, usually the King of Swords is, uh, have gathered some sort of information, more or less gained some sort of clarity uh, about something specific, and now they're just ready to act upon that energy, right? It's a lot of determination behind it as well. Up next is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is the card of worrying about money, the cold shoulder treatment, this is the ghosting card. So it's either, you know, you could be ghosting someone or someone is ghosting you. Someone is being stubborn. It could be you being stubborn. Cancer. Now, underneath the Ten of Pentacles, I wouldn't worry about it. Because, like I said, fives, if they do express themselves, it's not going to stick around too long. But you had already gotten a boost from the Ten of Pentacles. So I don't feel that there might be some sort of uh, concerns for cancers when it comes to that money, but there's some sort of improvement. Remember, I say I lay these cards down sequentially, but the order of how the energy opens up can open up any way that it wants. So just because the Ten of Pentacles is here, and then we have the Five of Pentacles, that doesn't mean go from rags to riches or vice versa. No, it just means that there's an aspect of some improvement with our finances if there were... Uh, any cancers out there who were, you know, could have been worried about their can uh, their finances, even if, if it's on a minor scale, okay? But it just notes that there's going to be some sort of improvement going on here. And remember, the two tens uh, always is auspicious energies. And when I say auspicious energy, that means the auspiciousness can come from any area, generated from any area. So if there was some uh, area of financial concerns, maybe it boosts that energy or corrects that energy. Up next is the star card. Okay, so hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. This is the card of uh, social networking, so there could be a greater expansion of social networking for some crabs out there. Could be, you know, online looking for work. Could be, you know, um, running your business. Could be communicating with family members. Could be looking for romance. Anything. Um, it's a card that is whatever you're hoping for, wishing for, praying for, comes to you know fruition and may be realized this week. Psychic development falls underneath the um, star card, so there could be something going on for cancers when it comes to their own psychic abilities or something that may be um, heightened for you. You may meet somebody famous. Just stay focused on one or two things. As I always say, Cancer, you should be okay because the stars in the heavens are always scattered energy. All right? So anyway, that's the star card. Now we have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is like the King of Swords. So this is, you're, you're going to do something, Cancer. You're going to take action against or for something. Now, it may have something to do with the Five of Swords since it sits underneath the um, Five of Swords energy. And this is like gaining clarity, taking action. The Knight of Swords is an action card for real, okay? So we're going to do something this week. 
Last card I have for you, Cancer, is the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is uh, positive energy. Okay, so positive energy meaning uh, underneath the Fool for you guys to go ahead and do what you need to do in terms of new beginnings. If you're already knowing what you need to do, but you're, there's some sort of hesitancy or a little bit of uh, based fear, go ahead and just do it. Just do it, okay? Um, you don't want to ever put yourself in a situation where you're just fearful of life in itself, where life is so precious and generous at times. I think that people um, develop this fear because of, you know, what they experience on a personal level, uh, what they grew up with, what they see on TV, and, and, and they play it out in their mind and whatnot. And, and, and you, I think that you're losing out. And I'm not saying that I'm a pro. I'm just saying that, you know, I get myself or I have gotten myself caught up with, you know, some fear-based energies. And, you know, after not necessarily throwing caution to the wind cancer, it's like, hey, you know what? F fuck it. Just do it. it. You know, if it's if something, if, if it's related to a relationship, if I fail, I fail. If it's related to a project, if I fail, I fail. But you don't know. Or you won't know unless you put your energy into it. How else are you going to know? But that fear is very immobilizing, okay? It, it will control you. But anyway, off tangent there for a minute. Three of Wands is about you moving towards something positive or something positive moving towards you. Now, this could be you, um, you know, for some of you, I always pick up long-distance relationships with that. So it may have something to do with that. Um, if you are traveling, if it's vacationing, um, work-related, business-related, uh, say passes to, say passes from. I just happened to look at it's the three of wands, four of wands here. I don't know if I remember or recall saying that you may be planning future trips with the four of wands, but because we have the movement card, the three of wands, it cross mirrors over that. So some of you may be planning trips this week and executing, uh, taking the trip the same week, okay? Well, you're safe if you do. Projects will move forward. Relationships will move forward with the Three of Wands and all is well. In your shadow, we got the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, okay. So this is um, could be a small pay raise for some of you. Some of you get introduced to somebody completely new. Some of you achieve some sort of goal that you may have worked on. It doesn't necessarily have to be work-related. Um, but there's some sort of recognition coming your way, okay. So uh, energies go up on the 27th. Uh, by Wednesday, you know, either you're congratulating yourself or you're getting some sort of congratulations from others or a thank you, pat on the back, job well done, okay? Also, workplace attraction. Always get workplace attraction with the Three of Pentacles. Major Arcana, the judgment is following that. So this is the card of spiritually uh, being watched over, spiritually being protected, guided if necessary. Um, some things that were once hidden for you, Cancer, now may come to the light or shed some light. Could be in any area. And then um, some things that you may discover about your own self will come to the light or something is shed about your own energies. Definitely it could be happening with other people that you didn't know before. Now that energy could be both positive and negative too, all right? But you don't want to take and use the judgment against yourself, be critical towards yourself, be harsh towards yourself, and you don't want to pass that energy off to other people because this is the karma card, and I always tell you guys it's the karma card. What you put out there, you're going to receive back, okay? And just because you put it out there and nothing's happened to you in a negative way, trust me, it's coming back to you. may not be at the time that you expect it to, okay? You might be at your best, or think that you're at your best and then something happens because you don't put some energy out there against somebody else. Always keep your thoughts positive. Um, you know, if you receive any negative energies, push that energy out, Cancer, as fast as you possibly can. Whether it's regarding uh, something that's going on with you or something regarding other people. And just replace it with something very positive. Okay? Uh, and you should be all right. Anyway, the third card here for you is the Knight of Cups. Beautiful card here. Knight of Cups. Knight in shining armor. For some of you, this is romance. This is, uh, you know, connecting with someone new. Could be just experiencing what you already have. Could be just the love of your, you know, your own self. You're feeling good emotionally. Like the king. You know, fulfilled, satisfied, and content. So there could be, you know... 
definitely romantic connections being made this week and also platonic friendships. But it also could explain that there are existing relationships that are already, you know, formed and they're just enjoying each other's company on a good emotional level. All right, so this is what I have for you, Cancer. Not too bad. Just um, take what's necessary for you. Leave the rest alone. And you guys have a great, safe week ahead. Remember to keep smiling for me, and I'm going to talk to you real soon. Bye.